Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a bit of a different video. I'm going to be behind the camera. Um, today I am doing my uh, Disney pin collection. And y'all, it is pretty lengthy. So I probably will have to break it up into two videos. Um, but if I can get it small enough, it'll be one, but we'll see. So you might have to look out for part two. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, here it is. Here's my um, latest uh, binder that I'm using right now. It is the uh, Kaset brand, and I love this book. I've kind of gravitated to these books um, because they're so much... Uh, more functional they hold so much more i love this skirt that comes down and zips and it has a pocket here that you can put uh stuff in also and you'll see what i'm talking about so let's look inside um it opens up and it's really just a binder for someone in school and i use mostly uh, baseball card baseball card sleeves and um, this book has probably more newer pins in them so um, yeah let's get started I've got some other stuff over here that I'm going to show you too so this will be my first book and I have you've seen this in a previous haul all of my princess pins um, that I've just recently got Tiana Pocahontas, Mule Line, isn't it? Oh my goodness, so pretty. Oh, of course, my favorite is Belle. And then Ariel, Rapunzel, and then Snow White, Cinderella, and Jasmine. They're gorgeous. And then on the next page, I have Merida, which is Mitzi's favorite. And, uh, Aurora, and then I love this. This is the um, pen with all of the princess on them. Isn't that just stunning? Just beautiful. Love that. And then I have these. Um, these are the pens that represent Disney World and then Disneyland. I just love the color scheme on those. I have the D's. Here's the Disney World D, the Disneyland D, and then I also have the two New Year pins for this year, and this is uh, Disneyland, and y'all, it is stunning. Look how beautiful that is. Let's open it up, and you can see that's Aurora on the inside, just beautiful, and I love that. I love the clock face. Isn't that just so pretty? And then I also have the Disney World version, and um, it's beautiful also. And it opens up, and you see Cinderella. So, just gorgeous. These both are limited edition. Now, I'll probably have some limited edition and open edition in this book also. Um, I love this pen. Um, uh, I guess you need to see it. A sweet friend sent... Uh, this to me and I love it then I just have some other princesses also Snow White, Ariel, Belle, Belle is just gorgeous and I have some more Ariel down here so beautiful and another Belle just beautiful and on this page, this is a set that I've com almost completed from Tokyo. And I actually bought the last pen I need this weekend. And it's going to go right here in this empty space. And it's Alice. And then I'll have the whole set. Now, if you see some, there's Anna and Elsa. If you see some that you think I'm missing, be sure to leave me a comment about that. Uh, because, oh, look how gorgeous these are. Um, because I looked on pen picks and I think I have them all now. When Alice gets here, look how gorgeous Belle is. My friend Drew sent me that as a zap one day. And look at Snow White. And then you've got beautiful Aurora. Just so beautiful. And then here is the Kiss series. I've had this for several years. 
and I just love them. And you see Belle and the Beast, Eric and Ariel, Aladdin and Jasmine. These things are just stunning. Look how beautiful they are. Look at that. It's such a gorgeous pen. I'm not kidding. Then I have Aurora down here. I have Cinderella and Snow White. And then I also have this series. This is from Tokyo, Tokyo also. It's a three pin series. And I have Rapunzel, Ariel, and then Cinderella. So yeah, these are beautiful. Michi's collecting this set also, but she is missing Cinderella. So I'm trying to help her find um, the last one for her set. And then here's some really um, beautiful pens that I've just started collecting. This is the new series that I've decided to collect for this year from the Disney Parks, and it's called the Pop-Up Books. I've got Alice, Peter Pan, uh, Winnie the Pooh. I also have uh, the 101 Dalmatians. And then I have, uh, well, let me show you this first. And then I think I bought this from Marcy Mouse quite some time ago, and it's Ariel. And then I have these um, DSSH pens. They're open edition. This one, um, a sweet friend sent to me of Ariel. And, but I bought the others, and I have Alice. I have Ursula. And then I have uh, Rapunzel. Isn't she beautiful? So pretty. And then also on this page, I have this. This is just an older pen. Um, I just kind of stuck it in here. But it is Snow White. And it is the um, Disney Visa Rewards pen. Here is a Bambi. A 75th anniversary pen, limited edition. Here's a WDI. It is the rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. Um, here is Corella de Vil, Windows of Evil. This is Maleficent uh, Dragon. Maleficent's on the inside, Sleeping Beauty. I have Aurora, Windows of Magic. And then I have this cutie. It is um, from a Little Mermaid collection. This is the only one I have. And it's the uh, clamshell ride, but I need to get the rest. And then here's my latest purchases. And this is, um, or these are the pins from uh, Hollywood Studios 30th anniversary. Um, my friend Karen from Karen's USA Adventures was there. She was so sweet to take time to pick these up for me. And they are just beautiful. Love them. Love, love, love. Um, and I love the backer cards. They're just awesome. And then I have also uh, a Rock the Dots. It's a limited edition of Minnie Mouse. And then Karen, I had her pick this one up for me too. It is the Baby Muppets. I'm so into that right now. And I just love them. They're just adorable. So love the Baby Muppets. And um, that's it. And then I have this little netting that I could put something back there if I wanted to. And let me show you up front. Okay, in this book now I have, I love, because um, where uh, someone in school might put pens and pencils and things, I put pens um, that won't fit into uh, my sleeves because the backer card is too big or just... The pen's too big in general. Y'all, I just love this. Isn't it so pretty? It is Minnie Mouse dressed up like the Statue of Liberty. It's a two-pin set. It's from the Disney Store in New York. And then, and then I also love the Windy City pen from Chicago's Disney Store. I love this one. It's so gorgeous. I love how the lamppost is bending over. Then I also had a sweet friend send me this. It's uh, the Mickey 90th birthday. And look at the little tie. It moves. And here is also the button for Hollywood Studios 30th anniversary. And it's real pretty. Karen picked that up for me also. 
yeah and so that's everything out of there and then you have this file type thing and it lets me put like booster packs really large cards like this for instance is the um pass holder uh, limited edition pen set that you just keep adding to and i picked it up and it's alice and a teacup and it is really pretty too so that's what i love about this folder system back here it lets me put a lot of stuff in there oh i forgot about these <gasps> look how beautiful this is the wedding series and this is uh the 101 dalmatians and um these are gorgeous love that and i think i got one more in here i do it is tiana and in her prince naveen oh it's so pretty i love it such a beautiful pen and that's it that's everything in my first book okay let's move on to book number two okay y'all here we are with book number two so let's see what's inside oh yeah this i have uh i have several um open edition pens and y'all i have started the uh tower of terror collection but y'all i won't ride tower of terror but i love the pens aren't they just beautiful so pretty love these and then um here's a couple more so pretty i love this one it's so cute and then Brad really loves rock and roller coasters, so we have some uh, attraction pins also. So this is from that. And then I love um, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, so I have that. I love It's a Small World. I've had this one for years. And then here's another Small World. So pretty. Just beautiful. These are all open edition. And then I have another Small World it's really pretty and i love this pen i bought this a couple of years ago at the parks and then i have a hollywood studios pen and then i have three of the 45th anniversary of the magic kingdom so i have the one with tinkerbell it's really pretty so cute and then i have this one of mickey i love the yellow and red and then I have the 45th um, on the castle. And I love the backer cards. And then I also have um, Epcot. I have another Hollywood Studios. And then I have Animal Kingdom Park. Love those. And then here is another um, Animal Kingdom. I just got this in December of this past year. Here's, I think, a 20th anniversary for Animal Kingdom. It's a dangle um, pen. Um, here is a pen that a sweet friend sent me from the Polynesian. Love that. It's so cute. And then, of course, we have stayed at Port Orleans Riverside so much. We had to have a pen. And then here's my new favorite. It is Animal Kingdom's Lodge. And this was a pen from the resort where we stayed we stayed in jumbo house and then here is a 2016 pn a 2017 pn 2018 2018 here are some pens that i bought several years ago at hollywood studios it is like the stretching portraits but they are the characters from nightmare before christmas and so they are super cute let me see if i can get closer like there's sally look at there jack and then you got you've got oogie boogie down here and then here's another uh jack just recently gotten these i love that i'm sorry for the glare i have lighting plus the sun is beaming in. Um, here's a Haunted Mansion pen. First Haunted Mansion pen I've ever bought, really. I mean, except for these. Uh, these are supposed to be like the stretching portraits. Here is um, the Redhead. 
from Pirates of the Caribbean. Mitch and I both got that. Oh, and I love this Marie. Isn't she beautiful? I love that. Because I'm a lady. That's why. I love that. That's such a cute pen. And we're going to go on to the next one. And I have uh, some Mary Poppins. And they are really cute. And then I have Steamboat Willie. And then I have two of these open edition WDI um, Walt Disney Imagineering pens. They're just open edition, but they're on a royal blue backer card. I only have two of them. There's a whole set of these. And I would like to get the rest of them also. And then a sweet friend sent me this also. Just very, very sweet. And another friend sent me this awesome patriotic pen. I'm starting a patriotic board. So I'm going to be taking this out and putting it on my board also. And then here are some Walt Disney Family Museum pens. You have uh, Doc and Dopey with the camera. I forget what they call that camera. And then we have Jiminy Cricket. Love that. And then back here we have two newer pens, and it is the uh, Coco pens that are open edition. They are so pretty and big. And then I have a limited release. I got this last year of Mary Poppins. And then my friend Dana picked this up for me. It's open edition two pen set of the new movie from Mary Poppins. And then I have some Pandora pins. Brad and I picked up this Pandora pin when we were there this past year. My friend Karen picked this one up. It's a pass holder. I love that. And then here's one for Flight of Passage. These pins were all picked up at the Character Warehouse. I think everyone has seen a ton of these. But with such an incredible deal, they're from Shanghai. And I just have a whole series of them. And so, yeah, love these. And then back here, I have some Hot Topic and Box Lunch Pins. My friend Dana, the Mouse Diva, sent this to me for my birthday. I love it. You know I love Peter Pan. Here's one of Bambi. Uh, these are from Hot Topic, the Mad Hatter, Stitch. Oh, and this is from Hallmark. <laughs> and I have another Stitch and a Marie. So, let's see what's at the front of the book. Okay, up here, let's look and see what we have. We're going to unzip it. And, y'all, I love this. These are gorgeous pens. I love them so much. This is the Tower of Terror set. And I believe you can still get this set, to be honest with you. But, love these. I really do love collecting Tower of Terror. I really do. So here's a button that my friend Dana had sent me, the Mouse Diva, um, also for my birthday. And let's see if there's anything back here in the folders. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this set. This set is um, it's kind of like the park attractions, and I love this, especially that Peter Pan one. Um, and I actually got this at the Character Warehouse. It's normally $29.99, and I got it for $5. Can you believe it? Love that. Be sure to check your warehouse out for that stuff. And, of course, I had to get, while I was at the parks, the Coco set, which is absolutely beautiful. And um, I love it, especially Dante. And uh, yeah, this was $29.99, and unfortunately, I paid $29. So, but I love it. And that's it. That's everything in this book. So let's go on to number three. Y'all, this has to be one of my favorite books, book number three, and it is my Paris book. And y'all, I love it so much. You know I'm a huge fan of Paris, and this thing is so full. Look at all of these pens. There's one trying to get away. Okay, y'all, this is my Paris book, and I'm so excited to share it with you. 
Uh, we got a lot to look at, so let's go ahead and look at them. You have, right off the bat, my fave, which is the Beauty and the Beast set. Oh, it's just stunning. I love these. So pretty. And then you have Mrs. Potts and Chip. And then it goes into the Little Mermaid set. So pretty. And then there's Flounder. Sebastian. That's that whole set. And then I traded with a friend for this Cinderella pin. And it's Disneyland Paris. And then I have Moana. She is so pretty. Love these. Such a pretty set. I think I'm missing one of those. And then I have all of the little baby um, animals. Marie is just beautiful. There's Figaro and a Thumper. And then you got Fox and the Hound. And Pluto. And then I have my princesses. They are just so beautiful. The gorgeous glitter on their outfits, their dresses. So pretty. Aurora. And then here is Belle. And Ariel. I love Ariel in this series. And then pretty Rapunzel. And then we have Cinderella which is just beautiful. And then I have these two, which um, there's four in the set. And I think the other two um, are Cinderella and Aurora. And I wish I had those, but I do have Ariel and Belle. So love those. If anybody's going to Paris anytime soon, you let me know. But um, yeah, I love those. And then I have uh, Toy Story. They are so pretty. And I really have to credit my friend Karen at Karen USA Adventures. She helped me get a lot of these when she went on her trip um, on her vacation to Paris. So it was probably the largest amount of money I spent on pens at one time. But, you know, you don't get that opportunity every day. So I had to do it. But thank you, Karen, for your help. And then I, she sent, got us a castle. And then, of course, I have... Um, Mary Poppins. I think that's the prettiest Mary Poppins that has been issued lately um, is the one from Paris. And then I have Stitch. I love Stitch with Scrump. There's Stitch by himself. I've had this one for a long time. It's Alice Tea Time. And then we have um, Mickey and Minnie Eiffel Towers. I love these. I only wanted those two. And then I, Karen picked these up for us too. I was so appreciative because I love this. It reminds me of so much. It's got the American flag. It's got the British flag. And it's got the French flag all rolled into one. So it symbolizes so much to me. And I love these. I will never, ever, ever get rid of this set. Love it. And then down here, I also have the spring Mickey and Minnie, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen those. They're gorgeous. I have the Ariel and Eric cuties and Belle and the Beast. Here are my villains. I love these. Oh my goodness. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. And there's Corella DeVille, Queen of Hearts. Jafar. And then here are two from Nightmare Before Christmas. I got these off of Marcy Mouse. I'll be honest, I was just a little disappointed with this particular one. You can see white spots all over it. And um, yeah, I was really disappointed with that. But um, Zero looked good, so I was happy with Zero. Um, then I have the Mule Line set. It's just a beautiful set, and I love the pink backer cards. And then I have uh, the Disneyland Paris 25th anniversary, Mickey, Minnie, Tinkerbell, 
uh, the spinner. And then I have traded with someone for this Hotel New York pin with the key on it. I think that's so pretty. And then Karen sent all of us girls a um, medallion from 2018. Um, it is so pretty. Love okay, it. this next page is probably one of my favorites. I love this series right here. It's called Disneyland Paris is Magical. And look how beautiful Tinkerbell is. It is just gorgeous. I just love the golden color against the black. It is so pretty. And then I also have with that the um, Tinkerbell. looks like it's on a safety pin. And then here is uh, an Eiffel Tower, a castle, and the logo Disneyland Paris is magical. It's so pretty. And then also here I have the Eiffel Tower. And it shows Tinkerbell here on the side. Look at that uh, uh, crystal right there. It has the big logo right there. It is just gorgeous. I love this set so much. And then I also love um, my Tinkerbell in the pretty pink with the golden palm tree. I love the backer card, number one. It's stunning. It looks like wallpaper, and I love it. And I'm telling you, Tinkerbell's looking awesome in these pens right here. So, love that. Isn't she beautiful? And then one with the pineapple. And then also on a strand of pearls. And then she is swinging um, from a palm leaf. Just beautiful. So yeah, I love my Tinkerbell pins. So the next page I have Peter Pan. And I'm a huge Peter Pan fan. I love this one. I love that one. And Nana. That's Mitzi's favorite. And then here's Wendy. And then I've had Elsa and Anna from Paris for quite, quite, quite some time. So these are really pretty. And um, that's all on that page. And then I love these two pins of Peter Pan and uh, Captain Hook because they have this gorgeous paisley print at the top. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And so does Captain Hook. Love those pins. And then I've got the Coco pin. And here's another open edition from Coco. Um, this one also. And then we've got Remy and Linguini. I think that's how you say it. With the Eiffel Tower. You hear my dog scratching on the door. And then here's Thumper. And my friends from um, Joe and Rose. Uh, they have a channel here on YouTube and they went to Paris for their honeymoon and they sent me a package and this was inside. Isn't it amazing? Mickey's 90th anniversary or birthday and it's from Paris. That's just awesome. And then another sweet friend sent me this also. Okay, so I'm starting now my limited edition page. I have this beautiful Beauty and the Beast pen from my sweet friend Beth at the Collectioneers Club. Um, we did an Easter exchange basket and I just love it. It's limited edition. Um, I have the pen trading day. Um, also, it's LE400. I love this. I want this whole set, but Pascal is the only one I have. So I really want to get it also. And then I have uh, this, it's from Mitzi, and it's the Peter Pan. It's where Mickey Mouse is in all of the scenes, and I love it. These are limited edition, $4.25, and I think it's beautiful. Love this one. And then my friend Karen, um, I think between my birthday and Christmas, she sent me a couple of these. And of course, she knows I love Ariel. And so, uh, look how beautiful that is. And it is signed. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. And then I have Stitch right here. And it's signed also. Can you believe it? I love it. 
Karen, you're amazing. So, love this. Stitching Mickey. And then I have this gorgeous um, bell pen that Karen sent me. It's stunning. It's LE700. And then I have the Beast and Bell and um, Limited Edition 500. It is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I don't know how Karen found all these wonderful pens. And then I actually traded for this one myself. And it's LE700 also. And it's Peter Pan's Flight from Paris. And then here I have, uh, these are, well, I've got one more Paris down here. And this was in a trade. And it's St. Patrick's Day. LE700. And then these are the keys that are being released at Hong Kong Disneyland. So I got a huge display board that came with Tinkerbell. But I don't like keeping her on that. So I really wish I could get an extra one of these so I could have her on a card like the rest of them. And um, I might have to buy one of the pins just to get the card. That sounds awful, doesn't it? But there's Minnie Mouse. There's Ralph. These are all limited edition. Here's the penguin from Mary Poppins. Uh, sweet Miss Piggy. And then beautiful Marie. So yeah, that's everything in this book. So let's look at the front and see what's in the zipper part. Okay, so here's the zipper. Let's see what's inside of here. Oh wow, I love Stitch and Angel together. I love Stitch and Scrump together too. I don't like him so much by himself, but I love him with others. And this is just precious. Love that. And Karen, she's so sweet. We all consider ourselves sisters. We are sisters to each other. And we're such good friends. And she sent all of us girls um, a best friend's pen. And it's um, from Jungle Book. So, love that. And then back here, I have some stuff in my folder. Um, yep. I have the actual booster card that goes with the set. So, it is just so amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. Love it. Such a beautiful booster card. Of course, I also have Ariel, Eric, Max, and King Triton. And it goes with this set. So, so happy to have gotten that also. So, let's see what else is in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's the Peter Pan. And Peter Pan, it goes with the ones that I showed you with um, the cards in the middle of the book. So beautiful. And this I bought. I love it. Y'all, look. It is the Disneyland Paris Cupcakes. Stitch, Minnie Mouse, Tinkerbell, and Angel. Love these. So beautiful. And I think that's it, y'all. That's all in my Disneyland Paris book. Okay, y'all. I'm ready for my next book. And it is going to be my Star Wars book. And it's one of my biggest favorites. And um, let's just start out. I've got a few traders that, um, that I traded for. And here's one. I think it's called like the Mandalorian or something like that. And then I have one from the Planet Hoth. This is from the Empire Strikes Back, I believe. And then this one is a fantasy pen. This is one of my favorite pens. Even though it's a fantasy pen, it is the Death Star with Little Mermaid in the forefront. And then you've got the Millennium Falcon up there also. I just think it's beautiful. And it's such a thick quality pen. Love that. So happy that I bought that. And then, also, I made a trade with someone in Paris and got these um, Star Wars pens. They're the latest release. And um, this one is the Millennium Falcon, and it's a slider. The back part slides around, and love that. These are all LE500, 
these are the only pens probably that are out of my Paris book that are from Paris and this is a hinge pen and it opens up and shows you uh, Han Solo and Chewie on the inside like the original characters and it's so pretty I would show you if it wasn't in the bag and then um, also I got the one here of all gold and black of the Millennium Falcon and the dice that Han Solo carried. And then down here, I have a, a Porg pen. It's a, another fantasy, living my best Porg life. Sweet friend sent me that. Uh, Karen uh, picked this pen up for me. Uh, May the fourth be with you. Love that. And then Mitzi gave me this pen here for Christmas last year. And it's the Star Wars Galactic Nights 2017. It's so beautiful. Love that. So that's all of that page. And then here I just have um, some limited edition pens from The Last Jedi that I bought uh, a couple of years ago um, at Hollywood Studios. And they're so pretty. I got these two pens, these shiny pens, off Shop Disney. They're open edition though. So that would be like Captain Phasma, the Executioner. And then here are uh, some limited edition from The Last Jedi also. So R2-D2 and BB-8. And then here is a pen that I got in a Christmas swap box. And it is Chewy is my co-pilot. It's limited edition also. And then here are uh, the pen of the month from Star Wars. Um, this is one of the first pen of the months I've ever started, and I have the whole set except two, and I still got to get those two, and I'll be done, but yeah, they're super, super cute. Um, love these. They almost look like little mini beloved tails. So again, I'm really pleased with this set and just love them so much. Just a beautiful set. And I got two more on this side. And um, yeah, like I said, I got two more and I'll be done with that set. And then here is a Darth Vader. I got this from the Shop Disney online and it's got the uh, Death Star in the background. It's a hugely popular pen. Um, I got this at the outlets from Solo. This is May the 4th Be With You last year. Um, I have C-3PO, uh, Disney Rewards uh, Visa card. And then here's the one for Darth Vader. And then I've got K-2SO from uh, Rogue One. And then I picked up uh, some of these awesome open edition pens from the outlet, the Character Warehouse. And um, love those. And here's another one I picked up. And this one also. And then here's Boba Fett. Mitzi gave me Boba Fett. It's a mystery pen. And then here is um, the, um, what do you call it? Mitzi's favorite, Boba Fett. And I got that at the parks one day. This came from the outlet. And then my friend Hope uh, from the Disney Sisters, she um, got this one for me. And this character in the back falls down. It's a slider. And then I have these two pins from Solo. And uh, my friend at work, Pam, she um, gave me these. And I actually have another one of these that a friend from Australia sent me. And um, this I got, um, this is from the Disney Store. It's a slider. And then this one is the Star Tours. Isn't it beautiful? That's one of Mitzi's favorites. It's a beautiful Star Tours pen. And then I have the Porg. Um, Porgs with R2-D2. Here's BB-8. Name tag. Um, our wonderful friends, um, Jessica and Aria. Um, she's so sweet. They sent us this. Mitzi and I both got one of these. And it's the... Um, characters of Luke Skywalker and Leia as Minnie Mouse, well, 
Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse as Leia and Luke Skywalker. And I love these. And then I've got some Christmas Star Wars. There's the AT-AT for Christmas. And then here's two more Christmases, BB-8 and a Stormtrooper. And then I have the Halloween ones also. So, love these. And I think I have all of the Halloween ones that have actually been released so far. So they're really cute. I've been collecting those for a while. So yeah, so let's see if there's anything up front that we can see. Okay, up here I have a few things. I have this adorable set of ornaments, C-3PO, R2-D2, and BB-8. Isn't that just darling? I just love those. That is just so pretty. Love it. And then I have this year's May the 4th Be With You. And it's Boba Fett. And love that pen from the Disney Store. And then I have the Star Wars Itsy Bitties. Um, and these are from Hallmark. And then I have um, my friend Tanya pick these up for me. These are Rogue One helmets. And then another friend sent me this, and it is the Pork in a Teacup. And it says, I'm ready to be park bound. Isn't that darling? I love it. So, yeah. So that's all of my Star Wars book. Okay, here's another book that I have, and it's from Pen Folio Pro. It is um, probably one of my favorite pen books but sadly they don't make it anymore and so I'm just gutted about that I really would love to get some more of these but anyway let me show you what's inside I say this is my money bag it has my most um, cherished pens and lowest limited edition count and most valuable so let me show you what's in here okay so the first thing we're going to start out with are my Toy Story pens. And yes, they are stunning. These are all um, Disney auctions. And I'm just so in love with them. Over here, we're going to start out with Buzz. And he's on his original backer card. I believe these are like LE100 or 150, somewhere like that. But they're, they're like mini jumbos. They're really large and just so beautifully done. And then we have over here, Jessie. And she's on her original card also. And then we have the green aliens. And this is probably the most expensive or valuable out of the whole set is this particular one and um, so I've got some more of these on the next page of the Toy Story and this is called the racing series those and then down here I have um, I guess you would say this is like um, buzz on Astro, Astro Blasters or whatever and I've actually never done that ride before and then I have this Gorgeous, um, Woody and Jesse on the record player. Oh my goodness, it's a Disney auction also. And then I have Stitch with the gang. Um, it's Disney auction as well. It's just so beautiful. So I love this first page. So let me show you the next page. Okay, so here's the second page and I have two more of the Disney's Auctions Racing Series. I have Ham and um, Rex. They were paired together on this particular pen. And then I also have over here Slinky Dog and Squ uh, Squeaky or something like that. I forget. And they're on their original backer card also. But these are just gorgeous, gorgeous pens. I love them. And I have one spot left, and that is for the one with Buzz. And I just still have to get him. And then I am done with this set. 
but it is just so beautiful. I love this set. And then down here, I have um, the Toy Story 3 Best Animated Feature. And then this is Disney Auctions with Woody and Bullseye. This is Disney Auctions. And I forget the name of this series, but it's The Gang in the Car. And then I love this series. It's three of them together. And it is Woody, Buzz, and Rex. And I love these. These are from Toy Story 3. They're really large pins, you can see. And um, you can see Woody against the uh, car. And it is so big and pretty. These are actually from D23. So that makes it even more special to me. So love these. And I think these are really low limited edition too. These are actually limited edition of a hundred. Can you believe it? These are just so stunning. Love them. Okay, the next page I have is my Midway Mania set. And it's so beautiful. I took them off their backer cards because um, they were just so big and there was nothing really special about it. Um, they were just actually um, just plain black cards. Um, but they were too big. And so here are all your characters. I love the aliens. Aliens are, and Woody are like my favorite. And I like Buzz too. But yeah, here's the whole set, all six. And they're so beautiful. Love that set. And then down here, I have the um, Pixar Studio Store. And I have the number three. I have Woody's belt buckle. And I have the J for Jesse. So, yeah, love this set. So, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so here's my next page. It's more of a fun page. It just has a variety of different things. I have up here Ham, Woody, and Buzz as the cars um, from Toy Story. I mean, from uh, Disneyland. I love that. And then over here, I have Woody. It's a hidden Mickey, but it is 100% authentic. I pulled it out of a bag myself, so I know that it's real. But there's the cars again. And then here we have the uh, Toys for Tots from DSSH, that's from several years ago. I have a, I don't know if this is Tokyo, I think it might be Tokyo, uh, Buzz in the Plane. And then here is an open edition from the parks, like the hitchhiking goes. And then over here, I have several of the mystery box, uh, mystery sets from the Toy Story Land opening, but I still need to get the rest of them. And then here, I also have the pin trading night for Woody. I have the Woody DSSH cutie. And then down here, I have two of the aliens. And I've got Tuesday and Friday. And then I have this slider from the Disney Visa rewards. And then here, um, I have Buzz and Woody's PTD. And here is Lotso from DSSH. It's just an open edition pen. And then my friend Rachel sent me this. It's the uh, green alien balloon, I think. The hidden Mickey balloon. So, yeah, it's just a fun page. I love that page. It's a lot of fun. Okay, on the next page, um, I have a lot of the Toy Story um, uh, land opening pens. Oh. Uh, you can see Woody and Jesse and Buzz, Slinky, the aliens, and then down here is Rex and Toy Story Land. Um, these were from uh, Box Lunch, and I love this set. I love the backer cards. This one is from Toy Story Land. It opens up, and it says I played there. And then I have up here some pens from like Hot Topic and Box Lunch. I think these were from Hot Topic, but Pizza Planet. Mitzi gave me the alien one. And then this one is from Toy Story Land opening. So this is from Al's Toy Barn, and it's Al McWiggins. And um, it is from Shop Disney. 
And then here's another um, Toy Story Land pin. This was Disney Movie Rewards. Um, here's another pin from Toy Story Land opening. And this one was from Toy Story Land opening also. Okay, y'all. This next page is my favorite. It is my Beauty and the Beast collection. And so I have the marquee, um, one of the marquees for Beauty and the Beast from DSSH. Here is the Dancing Couples from WDI. Here is the Cluster from WDI. Oh my goodness, my husband surprised me with this bell. And I think this is Disney shopping, I think. But it is um, like LE125. And it's called the Pearl Medallion. And uh, several of the princesses have one. But Belle, oh my goodness. She's just stunning. And then down here, I have the Art of Belle box set. And that's from Shop Disney. And of course, what can you say? This gorgeous pen here is the profile for Belle. She's just beautiful. And then I have the stunning silhouette for Belle. This is a gorgeous pen. It was the first one to be released. So that's the first page. Okay, so here is the second uh, page of my Belle or Beauty and the Beast collection. And I have this series here. And this is um, the 25th uh, in 25 Years of Enchantment, I believe is what it's called. And it is just beautiful. This is the human form and then the transformed character also. And I have the whole set. And it's just so pretty. Love that set. And then over here, I have Gaston. And uh, in the cutie form from DSSH. And then I have this footstool that I traded for. And then down here I have um, the Gaston. It's a little slider. And then you have a little pin here. It's a slider. I got those at the parks in 2016. So down here I have the next page in my Beauty and the Beast collection. And I have some uh, open edition pins of Belle and the Beast here. Belle another bell. This is from Hot Topic. Down here is the, um, this is this little card set. It's open edition from the parks. And then this is a uh, slider. It turns and spins, a spinner, and it has bell on the other side. And then up here I have the Disney movie, uh, D Disney Visa uh, rewards pin and it's a slider. Here's the VHS for Belle and you open it up and she's beautiful. And then I have the Beauty and the Beast from Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party in 2016. This is from last year. Just beautiful. Happy Holidays 2018. That was last year. And yeah, that is all of my Beauty and the Beast. Okay, this is my small but mighty Little Mermaid collection. Up here, I have Kiss the Girl from WDI. And it is so beautiful. It opens up, and look how gorgeous they are. Is that not a beautiful picture? I just love them together. And then I have the Cluster from WDI. I have the Latte of um, Ariel. I have the Valentine's Day of Ariel and Eric, this limited edition. And then I have a beautiful Ariel pin from Hot Topic Mitzi gave me. She also gave me this Ursula. And then my friend Karen gave me this Acme pin. Love that. And then down here, I have the um, Stunning Silhouette pin of Ariel. Just beautiful. And then I have the Windows of Magic. She's so pretty in that. And then I have Ursula's Window of Evil. And then I have the Timeless Tales of the Little Mermaid. And y'all, it is so beautiful. Look how gorgeous that pin is. So pretty. 
love that and the last thing is yes it is my wedding series from DSSH and it is Ariel Eric and Max isn't it beautiful my friend Karen bought this whole set online. She got through and she let Mitzi and I buy some pens that she didn't want. So I love it. It is so beautiful. So yeah, that's everything in this book.